Good. Nice. Try to stay down for the guy on us. Saw us. Dead. Dead. Nice win. Oh my god, dead. I'm nice. shooting on them. Oh my god. Top of the roof. No saw us. Saw us. Saw us. I'm one shot for V3. One saw us. Nice. Dead. Oh my nice. god. Go talk for me. Go talk for me. I just shot on them so bad. What is good everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'll be giving you guys tips on how to improve your aim in Modern Warfare 2. First things first, you have to have good settings that you're comfortable using. I use 661 ADS and many professional players and other top players use this sensitivity as well. But sometimes something might not work for you. It might be too slow or too fast for you. Find what you're comfortable using and give it a shot. But 661 is really good and it might seem slow, but when you are playing the game, you know where to center, you know where to look, and you know kind of where to expect people to come from. It's it, is, it looks really good. You're able to make it seem a lot faster than it actually is. And here's just the rest of my settings. Uh, I have an in-depth settings video if you want to go check that out. And then for aim assist, I use, wait, I was on standard. I meant to be on dynamic. I think my thing reset, I didn't reset it. But I just like to use dynamic aim assist ever since it's been introduced into Call of Duty since like 20, Modern Warfare 2019. Uh, I've always used dynamic and majority of other people use dynamic for the aim response curve type um, If you go down here, you have the input dead zones I put my left and right trigger to zero. So there's no delay when I pull my triggers down to aim in and shoot uh, These are for like your analogs for when you're strafing back and forth my left stick I always put to zero then my right stick man I put it to it differs and I'll show you guys right after this how I decide what to put my right stick to and Yeah, gyro aim. It's kind of difficult to use uh, I would not recommend that and here's some other of my settings, the inverted dive, single tap run and all that good stuff. And this is how you should figure out where your right stick min needs to be at. If I'm just sitting like this, you can see my controller kind of has a little bit of stick drift. I'll go back into the settings, controller, advanced inputs, and I'll up it by one. Then moving a little bit, I'll go back in. I'll up it, oops, wrong settings. I'll up it by a couple until it stops moving. So let's put it back to four, what I originally had it as. It's not really moving too much. So right now I have it off four. When I get a new controller, I test zero. And then I slowly increase it till it stops moving. And that's what you should do too. It is one of the most important things in the game. And what that is, is where you are looking. The center dot on your screen where it's aimed. Let's say I know this is like a popular spot in the closed hallway. I'll be ready for that gunfight just by setting around this. Like don't come around the corner like this and then turn to look. Come around the corner like this where you're already looking, kind of pre-aiming, ready for it to go. Same thing when the window. Uh, if someone's in, you know someone's in the window, you're going to like crouch, you're going to pre-aim a little bit and be ready for that. And that just comes with experience and game time to know like where the hot spots are on the map. And it is really good to be centering at like windows, doorways a lot of the time, because that's usually where people are going to come from. But if you do know spawns in Call of Duty, you will be able to figure out like what you should be centering at. Let's say this forklift is a very popular spot. Let's say people play here all the time. And you know, people go to this bench while you're on the forklift, you just preem the bench and you're ready for the gunfight before it even happens. So you don't have to see the person then aim. You're already aiming in the general direction of the person and you're ready for the gunfight. You will win so many more gunfights just because you're already ready and already centered on them. And now let's talk about the movement meta in this game. With the AR, it is not that good to jump shot because look at my aim down or my iron sight when I'm jumping. Look how much is bouncing around. That's going to mess my shot up. It's okay for running around a corner, jumping far to catch someone off guard and try and break their camera. But you really do not want to just be doing like this. Don't be jumping like a bunny rabbit. It's better to just be aimed down sight and strafing like back and forth. Or you just drop shot. Drop shotting is also very good in this game. Um, it's good with both guns as well. And in certain Call of Duty games, it's just better to jump shot. Certain games are better to drop shot. Certain games is better to slide. Like in Black Ops 2 way back in the day, if you're a COD OG and you remember playing it, it was not good to be drop shot shotting and standing still it was much better to jump shot with the msmc with the m8 it was or with m8 you want to strafe but with that msmc you want to jump shot so you have to find out the new metas in each and every game in this game it is much better to just be preamed up and strafing or be drop shotting with the ar and with the smgs in modern warfare 2 you can pretty much do anything you want you could run you could jump shot you could drop shot they're both very good uh you just have so much speed with the smgs in this game you can kind of decide what you want to do for the certain situation it's also very good to snake with the sub if you snake a little bit faster with a sub because the pull up time is quicker than you do with an ar so take advantage of snaking and uh staying behind the head glitches and making it hard for the other team to hit those shots but you can do anything jump shot drop shot strafing with this gun it's all very good as long as you are pre-aimed but it, there is a weird thing when you do pop dead silence your hip fire is extremely accurate 
So you, uh, you probably noticed this sometimes when you've popped your dead sounds with an SMG that your hip fire bullets go very straight. You might even get a couple kills while doing that. But with the gun, with the Vaznet, with the SMGs in this game, you could do pretty much any movement and you're good. The thing that everyone should be doing and start doing this immediately if you haven't, you should be holding slightly down on your right analog stick like this. Not so much to where you're like literally looking down, but just very slightly. It will help in the medium to long range gunfights because you know SMGs, not the best at long range that's not what really what they're made for but when you hold slightly down on them it will help keep your shot straighter at those ranges so your bullets can connect but make sure you hold slightly down always not just at long range and medium range but even short range just get into the habit of doing that and then once you are used to it it's just going to be it's going to be second nature you'll just always do it but like i said do not do it enough to where you're literally pulling your aim down like that just hold down slightly and uh, your bullets will be going very straight that's a tip that well that's a trick that everyone uses or like every professional top level player uses and you need to implement it to your game as well if you have not started doing that and now let's talk about recoil control recoil control of course if you're shooting like this it's gonna be pretty hard uh if you're just moving your analog stick crazy you don't have the right attachments on so you can check some of my other videos out where it comes to what attachment you should be using but it's kind of give and take in this game sometimes you're gonna have a little bit more recoil if you can't control it um just because you want to use attachments that give you more ads speed or more sprint to fire speed it kind of depends on what you want to use but it's very important to just be controlling the recoil being preamped up ready for the gunfights uh and just kind of being ready another good way to help you get a better recoil control is to warm up by shooting bots don't go into rank play don't go into public matches just cold where your hands are freezing you're shooting hexagons um make sure you turn some bots on you could use radar always on you could turn radar always off just whatever you want to do whatever's going to get you warmed up and something i like to do is i like to shoot bots with um each gun i'm going to be using so right now it's the tac 56 and the vaznev those are the two like main guns sometimes even the sniper i'll just shoot 50 bots with them get my movement get my shot warmed up a little bit and then i'm ready to go for the rest of the day when i am playing that's a really good way to just get some extra reps in the rest of it really just comes down to time playing the game like i know it sounds kind of basic but like if anything you do in life you're gonna need to put time and effort in if you want to see results and um that's just what you're gonna need to do so you're gonna have to put a little extra time in and if you only have like an hour to play a day go get on shoot 25 bots with each weapon you're gonna use and then start playing rank playing multiplayer so you can just move quickly and make the most out of your time so you're improving oh hell no nah. guys i'm not locked in bro no, I should have kept Nice. One more on top restaurant or left. Top restaurant or left. I'm not playing. I promise you, I'm not playing. I swear to God, I blame Matt for it. No way, Matt rolled, rubbed off on you. He did, bro. Oh, nice. Last guy. Hallway. Low hallway. Nice, boys. Shout out Danny DeVito's right now. We love Danny DeVito's. What's the left one doing? Is the left one busy right now? I wish. I wish I could be the left one. I should. What? Oh, he took a set. Okay. One the point. Molly Percocet. Hey, I use vending. I'm naded. I'm still naded on point. Who's pinching our ramp? Yeah, I'm dead. What is vending, bro? He just stopped. This guy's a piece of shit. Let me get some stuff for Danny DeVito's right now. Let's get it, baby. I'm stacking. Watch out, bottom vending. Dead. On the pillar top. He's gonna pinch your windows. Probably gonna go windows. fucking steps. No, he's not. <laughs> he killed me. <laughs> He dead puts me all. Oh. <laughs> I'm becoming a demon and shit now. Nah. I'm becoming a demon. It's too late. No, one more top. Before, before I get put myself in fucking villager mode, I can't. I can't. It gets a tier one stuff. So like I was being professional about that and shit, and like you wanted to like mock it. Was that Danny? Oh, was that Danny DeVito's left, left nut? Yeah. Now his left nut. No, it's the right one. Right one, sorry. Right the one, right one still. But the the right one tell is strong. I just keep. I can help me right after this. Sorry, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, bro. I'm top of the restaurant right now. The guy wasn't, like, he wasn't gonna cheat if we didn't play what cheaters. That's all I know. I, I hit my stream. Don't leave Star Tap, though. I, I, I hit around, everything. Around. I did what everyone told me to do. And it's just, it wasn't help. It wasn't helping. This is so sad, bro, how, how this map plays out, bro. It's this not this bad. It's fucking horrible, match bro. Now we win these. We win these. I'm gonna talk when I'm looking over you. Stone steps on me. I need a gun. Oh, oh no, one. Bar steps. <laughs> one hurt. Behind him. Hurt, hurt for you. Just don't leave. He's in our base. He's already top up. Already in the door. Back door. Back door. Back door. Nice. Someone block the left. Someone block the left spawn. Okay. I'm 
I'll come fill in. I'll come fill in. Ah, 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 ah. They're tap windows again. He's top bar. Look at fucking bar. Look at them, bro. Bar, absolute. Oh, they're slow, you right? Chow? That's typical for being a little bitch. Yeah, you're actually a fucking moron. My fault. Still on A? Eh? Yeah, people, people like playing Gears of War and like wall bouncing shit off. Off like kills. Like, they like bitch, like juice. I'm blocking. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm playing the deep left. They're all spawning globe. No! Oh! What the fuck? He's on our base. We're in their Wait, base. One, oh, wait, I think two. I think two on our base. One back up. This guy hacking? One more uh, chase. Don't worry about your back, though. Like Grand Perry. I'm just. Don't worry about your back. Oh, one is top bar. One top bar still. One top bar. No, don't. Why did he do it like that? He's going, going to the bar. Top, top bar. A top resort, whatever you call that. Rest of bar still. There. Resort. I can't behind him. Bar. Uh, I didn't get my another, another one. Yeah. I'm on top bar. I'm behind a bar. Dead. Top globe, dead. One no ammo. Could be spawning A side. We're not blocking. Yep. Restaurant dead. Nice, baby. More shots. Fuck. Get this line. Oh, um. Yeah, he's in the resort thing or whatever. Holy shit. There's two top resort. I'm behind them. I'm behind them. Who's calling you a resort, man? <laughs> what is a resort? It's, def it's definitely not here, twin. Top restaurant. Huh? Top, top. I got your back. Dude, we would be a great. Look at that. Look at that. My fault. My fault, a natural yeah. cam already. Already? Well, 